Hello, my name is Y Lam and I'm with Drone Rental Supply and today we're going to take a quick look at the Inspire One battery charging hub. This will be a initial impressions, but uh, we'll definitely see if it's worth the $100 for this thing. Uh, when you first get the box, you'll actually notice it's really small. Uh, if I compare it to a Inspire One battery, you'll see how small it actually is. But keep in mind that it's only uh, a component of the charging system. You're actually going to still need your stock battery supply. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up here in a second to uh, let you see that. Uh, in the back, uh, interest interestingly enough, it says spare part number 55 down here. But up here, it says part number 47. So I found that to be a little bit interesting. But let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, there's very minimal packaging in here. Uh, it's just looks like to be a sleeve that you can open up. And here is the charging hub. So on this side, what you'll notice is the uh, indicators for all the LED lights. So when you plug it in, you know what these LED lights here uh, is, uh, what it, what the status is for each LED light. On the back is a bunch of warning. Nothing here on the side. Right here is where your uh, power supply will go into. So you plug up your power supply and it will charge uh, four Inspire batteries. So you set the Inspire batteries and that will bring down the spring and those are your plugs. So two on each side and nothing on the bottom. Little rubbery legs. What is this? Oh. There is a USB port. I'm assuming that uh, that USB port is to upgrade firmware on this charging station. So it's interesting that uh, you can still get software bugs even in a charging station hub. So let's go ahead and grab a power supply. We'll plug this up and put some batteries on it. So what we have set up right now is a standard power supply, the larger rapid battery uh, power supply, and then for the Inspire One batteries. Uh, these are the 4500 milliamp uh, batteries. So uh, we actually already went ahead and tested the small one and the large one, hooking it up with the batteries. Uh, they both act exactly the same. Uh, all you have to do in order to plug it up is your standard port. You have your socket right here. You hook it right up. And what will happen right away is that these four LED lights will turn on and there'll be a solid red to signify that it is not charging. Let me double check. Yep, no battery connected. So that's what the red light means. And if you zoom in, and we're gonna go ahead and put four of these batteries on, and you'll notice uh, what it does. So when we first put on each battery, you'll notice that the LED light will turn orange. Make sure each one of these is connected. And if you look up top here, what it's doing right now is it's checking each battery and it's going to charge the lowest uh, battery level battery, which is kind of interesting. So if you're hoping for uh, this charging station to be able to charge all four batteries, it's not gonna actually do that. It's only gonna charge one at a time. Uh, it's still actually going through and looking for the lowest charge. It's actually just rotating through and you'll notice that the Inspire batteries is uh, blinking every once in a while as it's deciding which one to charge. So uh, one of the hopes was was that being able to uh, hook up a, a large battery charger and being able to charge four batteries at once, uh, it does not do that. You'll notice that it's uh, decided to charge this one. So this one starts blinking uh, a, a green while the other ones remain a solid orange. So basically, uh, this one will charge. Once it's fully charged, it'll select another one. So this is more of a convenience factor of being able to charge up four batteries and then letting it charge all of them at once. But it actually doesn't officially help you charge faster because you still need to wait for all of them to charge one at a time. So uh, that is a downside and it's actually we we're hoping that uh, it would actually do better or at least be able to plug up two power supplies and then be able to charge each side 
two batteries at a time. So one last thing before we wrap up, uh, it does come with an instruction manual and it really doesn't tell you anything that you can't figure out by yourself or just by looking at the label, but this is in here in case you do want to read it. It's uh, quite short and like I said, you can figure most of this out by yourself without really needing to use this. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below and we'll try to answer them. Until next time, have a nice day.